All right, so obviously since January, a bunch of inappropriate videos have been getting marked as made for kids like this one. As you can see, the comments are turned off and it says this action is turned off for content made for kids. I won't show the actual thing, but if you look at the preview, you can see that it shows a bunch of naked people. Clips from an adult show called The Boondocks are also marked as made for kids. Something called violence for the sake of violence, and you can literally see a bunch of blood there. Or even something like this, which I won't show for too long. But I actually want to see if these videos are visible in the YouTube Kids app. Maybe it's different on the phone, maybe you guys can let me know by checking it out yourself. But I'll try the website version, so I'm going to say I'm a kid, and it's going to say ask a parent to set up YouTube Kids. So I'm going to say I'm a parent, go through all this, I was born in 1928 or something, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna skip this. Um, no, I don't want to add that account. So we're just gonna say I agree, whatever, whatever. So this is where it might be different. So I'll probably show all three of the results, but right now we'll start with the youngest age. So let's go to preschool. Whatever it'll say content recommended. So do you want to turn search off or on? We want it on. So now it's gonna give us a tour or whatever, but I'm just gonna try to search up those videos that we've seen. So you would think that since these videos are marked as made for kids, you would see them on the YouTube Kids app. But if I search up the exact title of this video, it actually won't show up. Even if I were to copy and paste the link of it like this, it still won't show up. Let's try the boondocks clip. So if we go over here, try to search this up, boom. All right, we'll do another one, violence for the sake of violence, try to search it up. We do get three videos on this search, but it wasn't the video that we were looking for. And these all look like pretty appropriate kids videos for me. Let's go look at the racism from Teen Titans thing. You know, it has a buzzword in it that'll usually get you demonetized. Also not here. So obviously I'm very happy that the kids can't access those videos by searching them up or whatever, but then I'm trying to understand what the point is of marking these videos as made for kids. Obviously I've already said this a million times, but YouTube has already told us that they mark videos without an audience setting as made for kids by default. And we've all agreed that that's dumb of them and they shouldn't be doing that, but those videos don't seem to show up on the YouTube Kids app anyways. So this is actually a very good thing. The kids that go on the YouTube Kids app shouldn't be able to see these inappropriate videos that are getting falsely marked as made for kids. So I'm going to try it again for both of these options, but I'm only going to search up one video to save up time. So we'll search up the boondocks clip, not all women are hoes, and we get a video of ways to say you're welcome. So yeah, I'm very glad these videos aren't showing up on YouTube Kids, but wow, the search results that you get are very inaccurate. <laughs> One more time, we'll try it for kids that are ages 8 to 12, and we'll see if we can find those videos. So, we'll look up the Big Mouth clip over here, so copy and paste that, and let's see what we get. Nothing. So yeah, like I said, it's a good thing that the kids can't actually find these videos on the YouTube Kids app, but the problem is they could still find them on the actual YouTube website because obviously not everyone uses the YouTube Kids app. So if you do have kids and you're concerned about them finding inappropriate videos, you should definitely be on the YouTube Kids app. But that's pretty much it. Let me know if the results were different for you guys. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. See ya.